What's up guys, Saf Asher here. Today we're going to be going over Computer Science J277 1.2, which is memory and storage. I'm going to try and keep this as compressed as possible. See what I did there. So yeah, make sure you guys like and subscribe because there are going to be more computer science videos coming soon. But yeah, let's get straight into memory and storage. All right, firstly, we're going to be talking about the memory, which is RAM. RAM stands for random access memory. And this is where all the files and programs are stored when they are being used. You need to remember that RAM is volatile memory, which means when it loses its power, all the data inside the RAM will actually be lost. That's why you should back up your files every single time you're doing a Word document or something like that, because that is actually stored in RAM. RAM is most commonly used in like four to eight gigabyte configurations. And if someone wanted to upgrade the performance of their computer, they could simply add more RAM, which means more files and more programs can be stored in RAM at once. When the RAM is full, it will do a process called virtual memory. Now, virtual memory only happens when the RAM is full and your computer needs more memory. This is when the computer uses its secondary storage as RAM, which does mean the computer runs a little bit slower, but does mean you get a little bit more RAM. That's why most people upgrade their RAM from 8 gigabytes to 16 gigabytes, so this swap doesn't have to be used. Now let's move on to ROM, which stands for read-only memory. The ROM is built onto the motherboard and it contains the BIOS software. Just in short, the BIOS is basically the boot-up sequence for the computer, so it knows how to turn on when you press the button. Now, unlike RAM, ROM is actually non-volatile, which means when it loses its power, it actually, all the data that's stored in the ROM is actually still there. So if your computer does lose power, the boot up sequence in the ROM will actually still stay there because imagine your computer forgetting how to turn on after it turns off. So that's basically everything about memory. Now let's move on to storage. So there are a couple types of memory which you do need to know. Of. Those are hard disk drive, solid state drive, flash memory, optical storage, and magnetic tape. This is a hard disk drive. This is 2000 gigabytes. Now let me tell you about this real quick. So as you can see, hard disk drives have a lot of storage. This specific one is 2000 gigabytes. And yeah, one of the pros of hard disk drives is that they have a lot of storage. However, they are a bit big and clunky, so it's a bit hard to take them around places. Like I wouldn't want to put this in my pocket. They're not as durable. So if I was to drop this like that, which I shouldn't have done, it would probably break and the data would be lost. I shouldn't have done that. However, they are quite cheap because it is quite an old technology. It's still very, very usable. If you need large capacity, this is the way to go. However, it is quite cheap, which means it's quite affordable. Now, this little thing is called an SSD or a solid state drive. Now, solid state drives don't have no moving parts, as you can see here. So if I was to actually drop this as well, like I did with the hard disk drive, I wouldn't be worrying about the data inside there being lost because I really have some important data in there. They are way, way faster than hard disk drives. This is because they are a type of flash storage, which means there's no moving parts inside here. It's all stored onto little chips that are stored inside here. However, they are more expensive, even though they come with a lot of advantages. However, these days you can find them for quite cheap. But for the exam, you do need to know that these are more expensive than hard disk drives. This is flash memory also known as a simple USB. These don't have much capacity, but they are very extremely portable. And if I was to dash this as well, it wouldn't break very easily. Now, optical drives are drives such as CDs. So if you guys have a PlayStation or Xbox, those little discs are basically optical discs. They don't have the most storage in the world and they aren't also aren't the most robust in the world. However, they are quite portable. They are quite slim. You can put them in your bag. No one would know but not many people use optical discs anymore, unless obviously you're using an Xbox or PlayStation. Now, the last thing we do need to talk about is capacity. Capacity meaning how much data you can actually store inside one of these devices. Now, I'm gonna read this off my iPad here. A bit is the smallest measurement of data. A nibble is four bits of data. Eight bits is one byte. A kilobyte is 1024 bytes. However, because you're not allowed a calculator in the exam, you can simplify this 1024 to just 1000. So one kilobyte is 1000 bytes. One megabyte is 1000 kilobytes. One gigabyte is 1000 megabytes. 1000 gigabytes is one terabyte. Now I know that can be a lot to take in. So I'm going to put a graph on the screen right now on how this actually looks. You just need to be able to know which one is which because in the exam, they will ask you to convert between each other. That's literally everything you need to know. 
Now, if you do want, you can rewatch this video a couple of times because it is a lot of information to take in. I understand that. But trust me, once you get your head around this stuff, it's very, very easy. Now, one of the most common questions in a computer science paper is the advantages and disadvantages of a hard disk drive and a solid state drive. So you just need to know the advantages and disadvantages and list them out. That's an easy six marks. So make sure to like and subscribe if this video helped you and rewatch the video again because this stuff really does need to be in your head. And once you guys understand, it will be very, very easy. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video, which is probably going to be about that, 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 because I can't remember right now. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Okay, done.